Hey, what's happening everybody? Jim here from Clockwork Industries. Welcome back to another video. Today I am just testing out my streaming software. I wanted to give you guys a few updates on some different things that are going on. Uh, I have OBS Streamlabs and I'm able to now use my Sony a6400 as a webcam. And this has been something I wanted to do for a while because there's a couple things I wanted to do. I want to be able to use it for live streaming and now with the laptop I can set it up over there and we can do live streams right from the shop. Uh, because we hit a thousand subs, which thank you guys very, very much. Uh, I've been wanting to focus back on this channel for a while, and that's really motivated me to keep pushing with this and getting videos out regularly. Um, but with hitting a, a thousand subscribers, we uh, can now do mobile live streaming. So I am going to take advantage of that as well when it's not really an easy thing to move the laptop over there. So if I'm working on something and I just want to do a live stream during the day, we can make that happen. Or while we're in the middle of workflow and I can't really fit the laptop over there or something like that. So be on the lookout for those. Um, and speaking of being appreciative and thankful, uh, I'm setting up a Black Friday early sale. So it started the other day, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up here. Um, if you go over to the website, uh, you can use code 20 Black Friday 2021 and you get 20% off your order. I'm going to be running sales through the end of the year. Uh, 2020 has been a crazy year, so I decided, you know what, let's uh, let's let's end this year off with some sales. Uh, keep an eye out at the banner at the top of the website. Um, this is where I try to keep everybody updated, and and you know, new machines come in, new products come in, uh, sales when they're happening. I try to update everybody over there at the top of the page. So keep always keep an eye out on this banner here. Um, another thing too with this new streaming setup is I'm going to be starting up the clockwork industries modcast again i want to start talking and interviewing um, computer modders and builders from around the world uh, other machinists and small shop owners and stuff like that and uh, i thought it'd be a really cool idea to highlight a lot of other people's work and uh, share them with my audience and yeah so i want to get that started here soon too so be on the lookout for that as well um speaking of being on the lookout contour combs dropping next week the whole new Clockwork Industries whole whole pattern ecosystem is going to go live. We've got the 14 pin here. So this is keeping the cables so much tighter together. And then this will span across multiple products. So the following week, we're going to be launching the backtrack combs. So these will help you get the nice tight bend radius when you're in a small, like confined area inside your case, uh, especially good for like small form factor builds where you need a tight bend radius. And then right after that, the, uh, uh, the navigator combs will be dropping, which is the panel mount comb version of that. So the whole ecosystem will have the same whole pattern all the way through because right now the uh, knuckles and the rakes have a different kind of spacing than the panel mount combs. And then the plastic panel mount combs have a different spacing than the aluminum ones. So with the new laser, I should be able to get a, an acrylic version of this launched as well, uh, as well as an acrylic version of a couple other cable combs. So there's a lot coming up pretty uh, pretty soon here as we get rolling with the new Tormach. I'm going to be having more videos of that. Steven uh, has finished the arrival video, so that's going to be going live. And uh, speaking of that, my goal is to have right now for the next couple months probably having him do a video every other week uh that'll be more of a long form video and then i'm gonna fill the space in between with shorter videos like this either stream from the laptop or from the cell phone and then i'm also going to fill it in with uh, live streams and uh, stuff like that and then i do want to get the podcast thing started too so that's the game plan for now uh, I'm really putting a lot of focus and emphasis into the channel now. Uh, now that we have two machines going, I have Petey here to help me when I need him. Uh, and he's going to be here a lot more once we uh, get things off the ground with the new, the new products. And uh, there's a handful of people internationally who are going to start stocking uh, these cable combs in their shops. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. Uh, in the U.S., Mainframe's the exclusive reseller, so you can head on over to his site. He's going to have the contour combs here soon, and I believe the other ones as well. And then him partnering with Performance PCs, they'll have them there as well, most likely uh, as as they sell out of some of the other stuff. So well, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work yet, but be on the lookout for them, though. They should be in all those places eventually. And uh, we're also going to be doing the custom order stuff. And speaking of the custom order stuff... That's another thing that I'm going to start doing here using the software is setting up uh, Fusion 360 tutorials. And one of the benefits about doing the tutorials this way is a lot of people say how challenging Fusion 360 is because it does look a little crazy, especially if you're used to a program like SketchUp or something. Uh, Fusion 360 can be a, 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 an undertaking, to say the least, So because it's a whole different style of design. You're not sketching in 3D. 
you're sketching in 2D and then creating 3D objects and then cutting away from them. So there's a very good workflow that is really helpful. And my goal is to help people learn how to make reservoirs and manifolds and uh, radiator grills and just like a lot of simple stuff like that. But I feel like when you're doing a tutorial, it's really helpful to have a product at the end that you, could be usable to you. So we'll go over some basic designs and stuff like that. So when you're done with the when you're done with the tutorial and you follow through, you'll actually have a finished design. You could send to me to get made, you could send to your buddy to get made, or you can use in your own CNC router or laser or whatever you're using. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. I've been wanting to do that for quite a while now. Uh, I'm also going to be getting the Discord group opened up uh, pretty soon here because that's going to help me in coordinating with people who want custom orders. Custom orders are limited to reservoirs and manivolts, uh, and they're going to be limited to the work area of the MX-1100, which is like 10 and a half by 17 and a half and that incorporates most panels most uh most areas where you're going to put a manifold that that should cover it so uh, i'm building a workflow out for that so we can streamline that process as much as possible the tool change is going to be really helpful in doing that i was challenging before at the router to make it a a process that i can have uh done really smooth and in an almost production type environment so now we'll be able to have a lot more control over the uh, workflow for that uh with the new machine and everything and we won't have to stop production to do that because if I got a custom order, I can run it on the 1100 and we can keep PD going on the 770 and we don't have to miss a beat. So I think that's going to be about it. I just wanted to do a quick stream here and test out the software and give you guys an update of what's going on and what you can expect going forward. So I'm really excited to start doing the live streams. I might just do the first one later today, a mobile live stream uh, while I'm making the contour comb fixtures. I have five more fixtures to make and I'm trying to get them done this weekend so we can launch on Monday. Monday or Tuesday, early next week, uh, definitely before, definitely before Thanksgiving. I want to have them launch. So, mm, I think that's going to be it. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, I really appreciate the support. We hit a thousand. That's awesome. And uh, I'm really excited to let's let's get it to 10k. Let's keep it growing. And I'm really excited to bring other modders onto onto uh, showcase their work as well. And uh, just talk to them because a lot of them I haven't seen since trade shows. And just talking online, it'll be nice to finally talk well not face to face but through the computer to some of the guys that have known for quite a while and uh i think it'd be really fun so thank you guys for watching appreciate the support like subscribe and share and all that good stuff and uh we'll see you in the next video later <laughs>